Hello and welcome all to what I'm sure is going to be an unmissable game. Here's the key information. We have a side looking to make it into the exclusive knockout stage of the competition. A victory does it, but anything less than that could lead to all sorts of complications. Everybody is ready to go once we have the formalities out of the way. No question that this is one of the great capital venues of the Netherlands, the Johan Cruyff Arena, Amsterdam. We stand for the national anthem of Poland. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. France are utterly focused and determined. They know how much this means. Well, Peter, the, the question that comes to mind is how much do they want it? These players know that this could be the gateway for, for bigger things. Progression for starters brings greater financial reward. It increases the brand power and can enhance the whole business side of things. Individual player profile elevation is also a huge incentive. Careers can be catapulted from this. It's worth remembering. There's the whistle. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Rafael Varane. He's solid in the air, Peter, he's tough in the tackle and a very good reader of the game. Most of all, though, if something goes wrong when the opposition break through, he's got the pace to get back and, and make a vital intervention. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Matuidi, yeah, he's fouled in there. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. Griezmann! Oh, that's fabulous! And this is already looking rather ominous for the opposition now, when a player of his calibre can open up the scoring so fantastically. It could be a very long match for that defence to prevent a recurrence. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. France have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? That's the way you go about things if you want to qualify. It's, it's Lewandowski! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Lewandowski fully deserves the plaudits for setting up the chance. Varane plays it over to the other flank. 
Conte. Pogba. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. Pavard. Conte, France making the ideal start, it is something to build on. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls, they've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. Krakowiak. And it's Grzycki. Grzycki. Lovely bit of skill. France are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. And here's Grzycki. Knocks one in. Pavar tries to clear. Pogba. Victory now would mean so much. Pavar. Mbappe, France scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. Looking to break out here. Camille Glick. And it's Grzycki. Krakowiak. Floats one over. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Pogba. Done very well to intervene. And now the breakaway. TT battles to win it back. Pavar. And here's Griezmann. Mbappe, out to the right. France are looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Oh, shooting chance! Griezmann goes short. Played into the middle. Chesney is there to take. Zielinski. There's no flag. A chance to play it in. for the cross and we hit half time 
So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Robert still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. France, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, 1 0 up. To the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. France just about have their noses in front. Krikoviak. And it's Krikoviak. And here's Lewandowski. And it's hoisted clear. Conte. Glick does well to read it and intercepts. He gets past his man. Shiro! No mistake! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Camille Glick. Krasitsky. Krakowiak tries lifting it over. Rosicki. Dinks one in. What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions, and the risk has been deservedly rewarded. Hernandez. Titi Hernandez Titi Hernandez Conte Pogba drives it forward and it's Grosetsky nicely measured pass and he just whacks it away Krikoviak, it's anyone's ball. Griezmann. Mbappe. Pavard. Griezmann looking to run onto it. Zielinski. And here's Lewandowski, over to the left. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better.
And here's Lewandowski. Pogba. Rafael Varane pinged forward. Forward it goes. Zanufa looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Rafael Varane. Kante plays it forward. Played out to the right. Oh, sweet feet. There are a few waiting for it. A really good feat from him. Great leap! Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. Giroud should really have closed the game out then, and this could come back to haunt him. <laughs> Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. And it's Blashikovsky. Blashikovsky tries to switch the play. Almost nothing left on the clock here. France have their place in the knockout stage all but secure. It's Lewandowski! And no, he couldn't find the finish. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. From Titi, Pogba, Matuidi, Baran tries to get it forward quickly. Giroud plays it out to the flank. Whipped in. France have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. Griezmann with the short one. Lewandowski. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Looks to thread it through. Grzycki. Varane gets it away. Brzezicki. Oh, that's nice. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. That's a case of crossing in hope, then, unless they provide... Has a pop! And that may well be that. That is that. France have put their berth in the knockout stage. What a prospect for them. A job really well done so far. So another win, that's two from two, and it is looking good. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Well, this is what the team set out to do, no doubt, and it's the first significant mission out of the way. I think having seen the, the performances so far and with the momentum they've amassed, I, I quite fancy them to do well in the next phase too, you know.
So it wasn't a brilliant start to the competition, but there is certainly no cause to panic just yet. A place in the next stage is well within reach if, and it is a fairly big if, they can take all three points here to add to the solitary point they already have in the bag. There are, of course, so many permutations, combinations, that the various potential outcomes of this game could lead to, but there is never any space for debate as to what the team should be going for. They know what they've got to do. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. has got the juices flowing and now this Austria looking at a pivotal game, second game in the group so often is. Yeah, Peter, and the mood in the stadium very much suggests that now is the time to kick on and ensure that three points are, are added to their opening room. Not a time for holding back, they can instead make a statement here, telling the rest they're going to take control of the group. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Wijnaldum played out to the right. Babel goes long. And he just whacks it away. And it's Wijnaldum. De Roon. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Wijnaldum. Oh, good going for goal! That's a half-decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. And it's played forward. Towering header! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Oh, what a great leap. He had no right to get to that.
The Netherlands are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Arnautovic. Arnautovic. Up to meet it! Goal, Austria! And it's Austria who go ahead! Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Austria get themselves into the lead and that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on Over to the left Down Gartlinger Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Has a hit! Just off target. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. The room. The licks. The room. Fine Alden. Berghaus. Berghaus looking to get on the end of this. Dragovic is there to heave it away. Hinterega. And it's Arnautovic. it into the area timely intervention Alaba Burkhouse and it's Memphis to pie the room Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Van Dijk cuts it out. Burkhouse. And here's Depay. Burkhouse. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Down Gartlinger gets it away. The room. Oh, the ball's come loose! Hinterega. Forward it goes. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Beautifully executed. Up for the header! Back of the net! Two up now, and they are cruising. Austria are 
so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. Austria grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. De Ligt. Feinaldum. Blint. Across the field it goes. A really good feat from him. And it's Wijnaldum. And it's half-time here. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Austria go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Underway again. No changes at the interval from either side. Blint. Oh, good interception. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. about that I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Babel. Babel with the crossfield ball. He's got options out wide. Baumgart linger. Let down by a lack of accuracy. What an adventurous run from a defender. Shapes to shoot! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? The room. The licks. It's always a good time to register and, and lay down a, an early marker in the second half. They clearly had exactly that in mind and have gone about their business with absolutely the right commitment. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. 
Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Dragovic. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And here's Arnautovic. He's got away. And that gets it away. Baumgart linger. Shoots! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Van Dijk tries to switch the play. That's a throw. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Arnautovic. Done very well to intervene. Blint. He goes long. And he's there to clear it. Ball's gone out of play. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. it over to the other flank gorgeous control there there are a few waiting for it and it's blint blint van der Beek Gets it back. Now it's on Nautovic. And helps available out wide. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Uh, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. And it's hoisted clear. Going through. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. The Netherlands have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Hoists it forward. Arnautovic. Time to deliver. Tries his luck. Oh, that is an awful miss. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. It's going to be a double change then. The room. Van Dijk. Played in with accuracy. Has he found his man? And it's Van Arnholt. 
Lovely feet. The room. And that's it. Austria, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. 1 1, drawn 1, four points from six, and looking good. How would you summarise what we've seen today, then, Jim? Austria had a very simple tactic to implement, Peter, and they exposed their opposition with expansive incision. This is a performance that hasn't just got my approval. Listen.